Welcome to a journey of spices, excitement, experiences and stories of good flavour meeting great vegetables and fruits right here on Own Cuisine. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Own Cuisine, authentic, universal, meditative. Today we are going to eat the rainbow. Just look at this. I've been so inspired by my friend AJ and he's from the Indigo Kitchen and I noticed that he had all kinds of colors going on and I know that he is really into color. Bright, vibrant, beautiful color. So I was exchanging some messages with him on Instagram and I said, I've got to do something with an own cuisine twist. So AJ, this is for you. So, right here on a platter, I'm going to do a very sweet assembly line. So I have some purple cabbage, which is really one of my staples. I really love the purple part of the cabbage. So I'm just going to arrange it like so. And then I'm going to be lining up some beets. So just cut your beets up into little circles and steam them. So there's a little bit of warming happening in the salad and arrange it right across. Now this beet juice can go very gently on your purple cabbage. Okay, then after that I have some purple kelp noodles. So kelp noodles are transparent noodles, they're kind of translucent actually. So you just have to boil these guys in lots of hot water until you get just the color and then you have some purple. So I'm going to be arranging the purple like so, just a very very thin line. Now it is difficult to get blue occurring in nature but it's very easy to make this into blue. All you have to do is take a little bit of baking soda and sprinkle it on that and keep rubbing it and absolutely it turns into this lovely beautiful blue the kind of blue that looks lovely even in a furniture catalog it's so lovely so this is the type of blue you'll get and it looks pretty and it's really soft Okay, so I'm going to put some of the blue and run it across with my fingers. I do love my greens, so it's always good to make some place for greens, but to create a little bit more variety, I want to be putting in some broccoli, like so. So pretty. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to be putting in some of the cauliflower. Now this cauliflower has some turmeric put in it while it has been boiled previously. You can also use the yellow cauliflower but I do like the turmeric and the turmeric is an anti-inflammatory as well. Some steamed carrots. Looks absolutely gorgeous and some red bell pepper. I have a gorgeous group of women in the kitchen with me today and I'm having such a fabulous time and I just wanted to make something that looks so beautiful. Now tell me seriously when you come back home and then even if you've been a complete brat in school you come back home and you see this you totally want to eat the whole plate right? Now, those are for those kids who have some little fussy behavior over eating. And we're not going to let you get away with it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be putting in some more green beans, like so. I like the demarcation with the whole eating of the rainbow, but you want to create some variety. Because some kids are like, broccoli, I don't think so. Well, we have adults who do that. They might not whine, but you have that going on. So I'm going to be putting in some green beans in addition and to create some texture I'm going to 
put in some spinach. Perfect. Okay. So all that's taken care of. When we come back, I'm going to make a really simple dressing. And we just pour it over this and enjoy. See you in just a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, so eating the rainbow, completely easy Asian dressing, super easy to make. So I'm going to put in some toasted sesame seed oil. I'm going to be pouring in some lemon juice. You want some acid in with the oil. And while that emulsifies with a little whisk, I'm going to put in just a teeny weeny bit of salt to bring that together. Some chili flakes some mint leaves and a whole bunch of green onions, a pinch of minced garlic and some gluten-free soy sauce. A little bit of salt was because I'm going to be putting in the gluten-free soy sauce. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, we put that in. A pinch of red chili powder and a pinch of black pepper. I'm going to pour some coconut oil over the beets like so. Some coconut oil on the greens and some coconut oil on the red. Great. And now the dressing is ready. So I'm going to be pouring this dressing right at the head of this and the bottom. The rest of it can go pretty much anywhere. Great. So now I'm ready to eat my rainbow. So I'm going to try a little bit of everything so that I want to see how the flavors sit with it, okay? Mmm, broccoli, anything Asian, perfect match, made in heaven. Beans, ditto. Spinach, absolutely. The cauliflower will be interesting to see what happens. Love it, really good. Carrots, Asian, pretty cool. Mm. Yes, the red bell peppers also, very nice. Now I'm curious about the noodles, so. Perfect, love it. You have to do this with your fingers, by the way. You cannot do this with cutlery. You have to eat and enjoy the rainbow. Love it. Very good. With the cabbage, I think that will be easy. Mmm. Perfect. I'm going to try a little bit of the beets. Mmm. They look good. Mmm. Perfect. Please eat your rainbow. It's the only way to live. Enjoy. Until we meet again in another episode. This is Vadi Priyanka.